Hi everyone and welcome back to Happy at Home. Today I'd like to share with you how to make an oversized lumbar pillow like this one I made for my master bedroom. Today I'll be sharing with you how to make a much smaller version of the original pillow I made, but the steps are the same and goes to show you that it's easy to change the dimensions of the pillow to suit your needs. To start off, you'll need to cut a piece of fabric. For my oversized lumbar pillow, I cut a piece 43 inches long by 26 inches wide. For today's example, I cut a piece 17 inches long by 26 inches wide. Once the fabric is cut, with right sides of the fabric facing up, fold the fabric in half widthwise, matching up the raw edges on both the bottom and the two sides of the fabric. Next, pin the fabric together along the outside edge of both the bottom and one of the side edges. While pinning the remaining side edge, mark about a 4 to 5 inch section to remain unsewn. This will be the opening you will use later to fill your pillow. Once your fabric has been pinned together, sew a 4th inch seam along the outside raw edges. Once the sewing is complete, you will have a basic pillow shape with a small opening on one edge. Now it's time to turn your pillow right side out. While doing so, take care to make sure each of the corners are turned out nicely. Now it's time to fill the pillow. Today I'll be using this polyfill batting that I picked up at Walmart for under $4. To fill the pillow, pull a handful of the polyfill from the package, pull it apart a little and fluff it a bit, then insert it into the pillow. I like to start by working some of the batting into each of the four corners first and then continuing to fill the pillow from there. Once the pillow is filled to your liking, the final step is to close up the opening on the side of the pillow. Start by pinning the section close, and then with a needle and thread, hand sew the opening closed. When you're finished hand sewing, remove the pins and you have yourself a brand new pillow. I am enjoying my new pillow in my master bedroom. It's simple and uncomplicated, but it adds a nice finishing touch to my bedding. Well my friends, that is it for me today. I hope today's video has inspired you to find some pretty fabric you love and make a simple pillow that you'll be proud to add to your home's decor. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon in my next video. Bye now.